So I've spent over a month with the Lenovo Legion 7. Now this is the AMD version. We're gonna talk about some things that I love, some things that I don't like too much, and then hopefully we'll be helping you make a purchasing decision. Now this is like the Mac Daddy of the Legion series. Now it's got the beautiful RGB on the top cover, across the keyboard deck, all around the bezel of the keyboard deck, and even in the side vents. You can see on the side vent there, as well as on the rear vents. I mean, this thing is just like an RGB paradise. Now though this is really cool and I love the look of it, is super fun to have here in the studio. Unless you're somebody with a semi-permanent desk somewhere where you're often doing your work, you're probably gonna wanna turn the RGB lighting off so you can save on battery life because that will quickly drain your battery life. Now the battery life is something that I thought was really good on this laptop, but it was not the most amazing battery life. And I thought that had a lot to do um, with the lack of an iGPU mode. So on the Legion 5i Pro and the 5 Pro, you have the clickable hybrid mode here, which where you can switch it to run the CPU only. You can turn off the GPU, which helps conserve a lot of power. Right here, all you have is this toggle switch for hybrid mode, which uh, eliminates the ability to really get more control over your system. So I hope that in future iterations, they allow the access to that iGPU mode inside of the Legion 7 series. Now, while we're looking at the screen, I really like this panel. It's bright, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, so it makes it great for working on projects. There's plenty of space, uh, and so overall, it's a great screen. It doesn't have as high a color gamut range as an OLED display, but it is bright, it is fairly color accurate, and so it'll do the trick for creators. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the AMD Advantage version, and I thought that would give us more of an advantage in all of the benchmark tests. Where we saw the biggest advantage of the AMD system was in 3D modeling and in Photoshop. Overall, it performed well in the other tasks, but it was actually a little below average in video editing. So for instance, the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro exports the 4K nine minute clip out of Premiere Pro in about two minutes and 30 some seconds. Whereas the Lenovo Legion 7 AMD Advantage took about three minutes and 58 seconds. So it's a whole minute slower than the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro, which is quite a bit cheaper than this model. The performance of the Lenovo Legion 7 is undeniable. However, I've often overlooked the internet connection that I'm receiving to the laptop. And with so many applications relying on online connections and great internet speeds, that is an area that often has bottlenecked my systems. Recently, I ran a speed test of my internet here in the studio, and I found out that though I'm paying for 1000 megabytes per second, I was actually actually only receiving 240 megabytes per second on the devices that I was using. Motorola went ahead and sent over their Q14 mesh Wi-Fi system and immediately the internet speeds boosted to 600 megabytes per second. Now, not only was the Wi-Fi faster, but with this system, I was able to spread that to every single corner of my house, where before I was actually only seeing about 180 megabytes per second when I got farther away from my router. Not only is this system six gigahertz, but also has a 2.5 gigabyte LAN port as well as multi-channel selector, so you can customize your Wi-Fi to get the best speeds possible. Using the Motosync app powered by Minim. You can set up ad blocker, parental controls, and even threat scans, which are free compared to other apps, which cost up to $99 per year. For more information on the Motorola Q14 system, you can head down, check out the links in the description below. Now, compared to the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro, I love the build quality on the Legion 7. We have this aluminum band wrapping the entire chassis of the laptop. We don't have that plastic wrapping the back side of the laptop. It's nice, it's aluminum. And the top cover I really like as well. However, the only weird thing to me is how it kind of sits in a little bit from the side panel. I've mentioned that in my other videos. Um, and I think that's a little bit odd. Also, you're gonna find a little bit of rattliness on the bottom cover. So the build quality and build materials feels good outside of that that kind of that, that space between the components and the bottom cover of the laptop. So maybe you just don't go around like tapping it and you'll be okay. Uh, the top cover, however, is secured very nicely. Not a lot of rattle there on the top cover. Now the pricing of this laptop is one of the areas that I kind of struggle with. You know, depending on the time of year that you're watching this video, it could waver from anywhere from around $2,500 to $2,800 give or take the options that you spec it with. I'll put links in the description below if you wanna check the live pricing 
or if you're ready to make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, if you wanna get the Lenovo Legion Slim 7, you can actually get that one for around $2,000. And that actually has similar performance to the Legion 7. Slightly lower performance, but very close. Now, if you wanna go even more affordable, you can get the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro or the 5i Pro for around the $1,500 to $1,800 price point. And so this laptop is definitely more of their premium offering. Like I said, loaded with RGB, AMD Advantage, which is great for 3D modeling, but didn't show much of an advantage for something like After Effects, Photoshop, uh, video editing, those apps did just as well with the more affordable units. So I'm really curious, why would you be considering this laptop over the 5i Pro or the 5 Pro or the Slim 7? What makes you consider the Legion 7? As you go ahead and you even open the laptop, even the keyboard deck is an exact doppelganger of the Legion 5 Pro and Legion 5i Pro. Trackpads push to the left to line up with the center of the keyboard, numpad on the right, and you even now have RGB backlighting on the Legion 5 Pro. And speaking of the Legion 5 Pro, Lenovo sent over three for us to give away when we pass 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for the giveaway video when we launch more information about the giveaway after we pass 100,000 subscribers. Now, punch for punch, I think this is a great laptop, but personally, I don't see the full value in going all Legion 7. I would personally lean towards the Legion Slim 7, or if I wanted to get just more of a utilitarian laptop, I would go for the Legion 5i Pro. I think the 5i Pro has an advantage of performance and still has good battery life. The 5 Pro has a little more battery life, but a little less performance. Comment below. There's so many options when it comes to these Legion series. I'm curious what you're looking for. Don't forget to subscribe to help us reach one 100,000 subscribers, we can kick off the giveaway. We'll see you here in the next video.